focus on challenging the audience to achieve a higher level of beliefs or achievement. Appeal to the audience needs and emotions using stories, anecdotes, and quotes to add drama. Avoid using notes. Time, 8 to 10 minutes. Mithuna, take over, then invite the speaker. Mithuna. Sachit, you can take over, Sachit. Sachit. Hi, uh, Yes, sir. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, sir. Hi, dear yes. and respected day, sir. Today, I'm going to talk about a question that was in my mind for a very long time. The ever increasing amount of waste on Earth. Then we just dump all these trash into volcanoes. This might look like a good solution to this stinky problem, but the truth is worse than fiction. Today, let's dive into the pros and cons behind this explosive question. What if we dumped our trash into volcanoes? Did you know that almost half of the world's population has no access to the modern trash incinerators? that we have today. This leads to a problem known as illegal dump sites, which accumulate more than 40% of the world's trash. So, couldn't we just dump all these trash into volcanoes? After all, volcanoes are filled with lava that could melt anything in a trace. But there are some potential problems and tasks to do. The first hindrance we might face is that we need to find an active volcano. Before that, did you know that there are three types of volcanoes? They are active volcanoes, dormant volcanoes, and extinct volcanoes. Active volcanoes are volcanoes that erupt every month or every year. Dormant volcanoes have the chance to erupt in the future. Extinct volcanoes have no chance to erupt in the future. So, finding an active volcano is a big task because there are only 1,500 volcanoes that are active today. And almost 75% of these volcanoes are in distant places where it is difficult for humans to reach. The next hurdle we might face is that it takes a lot of energy, time, fuel and money to reach a volcano. The third hindrance is that we need to find a volcano that is suitable for dumping in trash. Before that, there are two types of eruptions. They are slow erupting volcanoes and fast erupting volcanoes. Fast erupting volcanoes are volcanoes which erupt more faster and produces a low density. They are not suitable for dumping in trash. Slow erupting volcanoes are volcanoes that have more density and erupts much slower. This is the ideal type of volcano to dump in trash. While finding slow erupting volcanoes, we might come across the raging relatives strato volcanoes. Strato volcanoes are slow erupting volcanoes and are ideal for dumping in trash. The next hurdle is that the person who is dumping in trash needs to wear a lot of protective armor because garbage bags have a colder debris and when cold debris 
hits lava, it creates significant explosions. And so, if a person gets hit by one drop of lava, it could cause an a fatal death. The, the, the last hindrance goes into our atmosphere or not the nature. Let's say that we have dumped in all our trash into the volcano and mission accomplished. But did you know that not all materials melt in lava? These materials stay inside the lava until the next explosion. When the next explosion happens, these particles rise into our sky and fall into large water bodies like oceans, seas, and rivers. This causes something known as water pollution, which pollutes the water and kills marine life. When oxygen gets mixed up, with carbon dioxide and methane, it causes a deadly type of gas which goes into our atmosphere and causes air pollution. Air pollution can cause fatal death to the animals that are in air and can cause a type of diseases to us like SARS, tuberculosis, heart attacks, etc. So I recommend staying with the modern trash incinerators, but make sure that these gases don't go into our atmosphere and create air pollution and find a way to turn this trash into something new like battery power. So friends, put your thinking caps on and find a way to dispose the stinky things into something uh, reusable and better. Did you know that Americans produce four tons of trash every person every day? More than 75% of beach trash is plastics. I hope you enjoyed my speech. Over to you. Now